Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, and Christmas came early for you PWG fans, and they announced the Bola uh, matches, not even tournament stuff, but also uh, non-tournament matches. So I was really hyped yesterday. I was do I was actually uh, doing a TNA review with WWE TNA One One Five Two and a few other people on his channel. Go check that out. And uh, I was just freaking out during the night. Not freaking out, but I was like really excited and paid attention to the matches that were being announced. So I'm going to run through the all the matches. And uh, a lot of people are saying night two sounds like the greatest night in you know PWG history. And I really haven't thought about that, but I put them in order. Didn't really think about it. And uh, when I read it off, I'm just going to say it real quick because there's a lot of matches. So I'm going to say real quick what my thoughts are on the match and then compare the nights and maybe even talk about future winners who I think could be. So um, let's get right into it. It should be really awesome. So Battle of Los Angeles Night 1, starting off with the non-tournament matches, we got Tommy End, Marty Skrull, Skrull, I think is how you pronounce it, and Zack Sabre Jr. versus the Young Bucks and Roderick Strong. So right there, that's a great non-tournament. I'm really excited that Young Bucks and Strong are teaming. I think that's going to be really awesome. And uh, you can't go wrong with Tommy and Zack Sabre Jr. and Marty Skrull. Um, I, I'm not familiar with them. A lot of people are sending me videos to see his matches. But really, for all the guys I don't know in PWG Bola, I'm just going to wait till Bola comes out to see. So then I don't, I can't be like, oh, I already don't like this guy. I already do like this guy. I want to just see how it goes from P his uh, their performances at PWG Bola. And uh, yeah, should be a really good uh, non-tournament match. Inner City Machine Guns versus Angelico and Jack Evans. That should be really good. High flying action. Some Rich Swan and uh, Ricochet versus, you know, freaking Angelico who's killing it in uh, Lucha Underground, doing amazing dives. And uh, Jack Evans is always awesome. So, get into the tournament um, actual matches. Here we go. Aerostar versus Brian Cage. That should be really cool. Some Lucha Underground guys. Andrew Everett versus Biff Busick. That should be, you know, really exciting. A high flyer against the brute force of Biff Busick. Will Ospreay, or Ospreay, I forget how you pronounce it, versus Mark Andrews, or Mandrews from TNA. I'm really excited to see how Mandrews does in a PWG, and I hope he really blows it, blows us away. Trevor Lee versus the returning Trent. Freaking can't wait for Trent's return. It's going to be awesome. That should be really cool. Drago versus Pentagon Jr. I knew some Lucha Underground people would verse each other, so not disappointed, but I knew it was going to happen, so it should be good. But, you know, we could have saw that Lucha Underground. Matt Seidel versus Phoenix. That should be really exciting. Really high-flying high and fast-paced. So, Battle of Los Angeles Night 2. Starting off with the non-tournament uh, matches. Phoenix teams with Aerostar versus Drago and Pentagon Jr. So, this is a big Lucha Underground uh, match. And then next, this one just blows my mind. They announced this. Andrew Everett will be teaming with his partner Trevor Lee and Biff Busick to take on the Young Bucks and Super Dragon. And if it doesn't get any better than that, in a guerrilla warfare match. I am so freaking pumped for that match. It's going to be utter chaos. Them just killing each other. And uh, I think someone will die during it. Biff Busick, when this match was announced, tweeted, Die, Dragon, Die. So that's going to be insane. Um, tournament Back to the tournament matches. Rich Swan versus Marty Skrull. Should be good, I guess. Chris Hero versus Timothy Thatcher. That's going to be strong style and hard hitting. Drew Gulak versus Tommy End. Again, strong freaking style, hard-hitting action, brute force between these guys. And then the partners collide, and Helico versus Jack Evans. So I'm excited to see how this match goes. I'm sure they're going to be really real friendly and stuff, and then really get into the chain grapples, high-flying moves. It's going to really pick up, I bet. Mike Bailey versus Drew Galloway. That should be really good. The t freaking tall Galloway is going to make ba Bailey look so small. And then last but not least, Ricochet versus Zack Sabre Jr. So... Um, I don't know about that one. Ricochet is the previous Bola winner, of course, but he's versus Zack Sabre Jr. So I honestly see Zack Sabre Jr. continuing. I don't see him, you know, losing, but I don't see Ricochet losing either. So that one's a hard pick. I don't know about that one. But, um, I'm probably going to do, when the day gets closer, do predictions and stuff. But, um, yeah, night two should be really good. I'm excited for that hard-hitting, high-flying stuff. But night one still looks really, really phenomenal. But honestly, can't wait for Everett Lee, Busick versus... Bucks and Dragon. That match is just going to be in freaking sane. So please, in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about these Bola matches. And uh, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's shaping up. Like, I'm already saving money for Bola. It's going to be awesome. So uh, please let me know what you think about this. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7WWERocks. Thanks so much for watching. Probably Daniel Bryan book review tomorrow. 
And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the start of your weekend when it comes tomorrow, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. As always, have a nice day.